Irenaeus was an early church father and writer. He was a disciple of Polycarp, who in turn was a disciple of John the Evangelist. Irenaeus' best-known books were entitled Against Heresies. Like Barnabas, Irenaeus likewise sees Revelation Millennium as the fifth period of a thousand years and the reward as the seventh. In Book 5 of Against Heresies, Irenaeus discusses Revelation 13 and the number of the beast. He says, And the number is 666, that is, six times a hundred, six times ten, and six units. He gave this as a summing up of the whole of that apostasy which has taken place during six thousand years. For in as many days as the world was made, in so many thousand years shall it be concluded. And for this reason, the scripture says, Thus the heaven and the earth were finished, and all their adornment. Irenaeus says there will be six thousand years of earth history. But not only that, he links the fact to the name of the beast of Revelation. According to him, the number 666 reflects the fact that there has been apostasy during the 6,000 years of earth history. He says the present earth is ended after everything is complete before the seventh day. We remember that we found the end of the world in Revelation 20:11. Irenaeus shows the identity of the Antichrist incorporates the end of the world. But now he was and is not and shall ascend out of the abyss and goes into perdition as one who has no existence. So neither has his name been declared, for the name of that which does not exist is not proclaimed. But when this Antichrist shall have devastated all things in this world, he will reign for three years and six months and sit in the temple at Jerusalem. And then the Lord will come from heaven in the clouds, in the glory of the Father, sending this man and those who follow him into the lake of fire, but bringing in for the righteous the times of the kingdom, that is, the rest, the hallowed seventh day, and restoring to Abraham the promised inheritance, and when, in which the kingdom the Lord declared that many coming from east and from the west should sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Irenaeus sees Antichrist as Satan attacking Jerusalem after he comes out of the abyss, then follows the seventh day. First, he comes out of the abyss. Second, he reigns in Jerusalem. Third, he goes into the lake of fire. Fourth, the times of the kingdom, the seventh day. It is easy to get this confused with Revelation 19, where the beast, false prophet, and kings of the earth get thrown into the lake of fire. But remember, first Irenaeus says Antichrist comes out of the abyss and destroys all things in the world. If he destroyed all things at the end of chapter 19, there wouldn't be anything left for chapter 20. Instead, according to Irenaeus, it is Antichrist in the form of the satanic dragon and those he has gathered from the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, who are cast into the lake of fire. The seventh day is for rewards instead of the fifth millennium. Antichrist is the one that was and is not and shall ascend out of the abyss. So here is Irenaeus' understanding of Revelation 20. Fifth period of a thousand years, Satan is kept from deceiving. Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 through 6. Sixth period, Satan is released to rule for three years and six months. But this is also the period of the, the sixth period of a thousand years. Revelation chapter 20, verses 7 through 15. Irenaeus confirms that by explaining 666. Seventh period, the times of the kingdom are brought into the new heaven and earth. The seventh day, chapter 21. 
In the next episode, we'll look at the chiasm of Justin Martyr and see how he confirms this scenario.